All right, Jeremy here, Jeeps Unlimited, PartsBreakers.com. This tub will be posted on our website. That is Parts, P-A-R-T-S, Breakers, B-R-E-A-K-E-R-S.com. And I am leaving, today is the 1st of March. I am leaving on the 6th for the East Coast. I probably at this point have room for this. If somebody were to uh, look at this tub before then, if not, uh, we'd have to figure out freight later. Uh, this is gonna be fairly expensive to ship, um, but it is an option. It'd be better if I brought it just because it's, uh, they're kind of fragile the way these tubs are designed, the skirting on the back and stuff. So uh, ideally it'd be better to catch me on one of my trips out, but we could get it secured for you and whatnot. Let me get through this, show you it as if you were standing here in person. And uh, we go from there. Kira went to get oh, the ATM. Okay. She's not even back yet, so. Okay, I'll All right. Anyway, um, so yeah, let me go through it. I'll get it up in the air and show you the bottom side as well. Um, it's in excellent shape for the years. It's a 68, uh, so it's an early uh, Commando Jeepster. The frame sold on it, the top sold, the windshield frame. We have a few other parts, but things are selling really quick on it. Um, Okay, so there's the rear, and I might have this section, I may not, I'll have to look through it. Um, for now, we're just say it's not included. It looks like that, so it's just a piece of sheet metal uh, that goes over it, and you can see the extent of the damage uh, with a little bit of rust down in there. Um, but overall, this is an excellent shape of the year. I'd still grade this a low A, high B uh, for what it is, um, and you'll see what I, what I mean. There's a little bit in it, and I'll show you all that but most of this tub is rust free. And then the floors have already been done uh, and they were done really well. Uh, so you don't have to mess with any floors, uh, anything like that. The dash is still in it. Uh, these ones don't really come out very easily so we usually leave them in them. That is something that's been cut for the radio. Uh, you can see the overcut on it. So not super clean there. The radio would cover that up. Uh, and that is an, a, it's not cut out for like a CD player, which is nice, cut out for the original one. But if you were gonna put a deck or something in it, you'd cut that out further, so. And then the door jams, super clean. Um, the seals all the way up. The hinges, we do have the doors still, they are available at the, mo at the moment. The cowl is, ex is extremely clean. Uh, no damage up here, no rust on the upper where the windshield frame meets it. And then the firewall is absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then the side skirting, I'm gonna show you this. There is a little bit of rust, I believe it's this side and a little bit of damage. That's got a pretty good ding down through that cow, uh, the lower rocker. And then you got a little about the size of a quarter here. And then you have this guy here, okay? And this is all flat steel uh, to replace, but definitely want you to see it. The driver's side is perfect, it doesn't have anything. Um, but the passenger side is a little being beat up, so definitely just count it down for that. And then here, of course, is your driver's side. Okay, door sills, excellent shape, just like the other side. Uh, 1969 is what it says here. I think the title we got on it was 68, but maybe it's 69, so Kaiser Jeep, so. Okay, excellent shape up through here, all the way for where your hard top bolts now. This is where the hard top bolts down to it. Rear, rear there, a little dinged up there. In the back, you can kind of see the rocker, lower rocker there. Okay, and then of course the driver's side, no rust, okay. Got a little bit of a, a crease or ding there. All right, and then let me get it in there. And once again, I'll show you the hook floorboards here. Tunnel, excellent shape. Passenger side, all the way up into there. And then of course the wheel wells floor all right tippy so I don't want to tip this thing over up here to really do some damage so okay Floors, excellent torque pockets, excellent shape. Let's see if I can focus that a little better for you. There's your inner fender wells. Okay, rear torque pocket, rear channel. All right, 
couple of the little wire sticks where they're still sticking out. I just didn't finish cleaning it up down here. There's your side skirts here. Those are all in great shape. There's a little bit of so a little bit, but just surface, no holes or anything through here. The seams look real good. Torque pocket, excellent shape there. Then coming over to your passenger side again, clean here. Okay, all the way up to the front. And then you got right here. So started to get that box area. Started blowing out there. So that needs to be repaired. And then again, your side right there. So that's really the extent of the damage that needs to be fixed on this tub. Um, and then of course the floor section here, which if I have it, I'll throw it in. But right now I'm saying I don't because I haven't been through everything and I want to promise you something I don't. It's just a piece of sheet metal. Looks just like this side. This is where the uh, fuel tank stuff goes. That's why there's a hole there. Um, so questions, comments, concerns, anything I missed that you want to see, uh, give me a holler if I, it's in my will, ability to go out and take another photo or two. Uh, I'm going to put this down somewhere that's a little harder to get to just so it doesn't get damaged. Doesn't get tossed around with the wind or anything. But uh, Hopefully this video will do everything else just. I will get a couple photos for you. And then if you have any uh, anything else, like I said, you need or see or parts wise, the doors are sitting back over there. You can kind of see them right there. Okay, we'll go from there. I appreciate all your time. 303-666-9020, partsbreakers.com.